Joker wants to prove a point to many people and doesn't interpret things the same way we do. Him getting caught is almost like him finishing a big show most of the time. And while early on, such as in Man Who Laughs, he seemed genuinely baffled that Batman stopped his plan to contaminate Gotham, there's another side that seems to say he sort of led Batman to stopping himself, almost as if he nerfs himself and gives it away on purpose. He as well considers Batman a type of ally in his own warped way, thinking that all the gruesome tragedies he puts him through will only make him stronger and better off for it. In his fight against L, he would pick on L, Jokerize Whammy's house more than likely to turning on him, kill Watsuri, and probably completely shatters L Resolve or bully L for the rest of his career while remaining a completely psycho clown man that was utterly anonymous. With the only way L would ever find out a late game Joker's identity is if he connected the dots that a Red Hood employee went missing and a family with a man that used to work there is gone since that day. But the honest truth? Not even the Joker knows if that's actually his backstory or not.